welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to paint these bright, colorful, cheerful wildflowers. I absolutely love painting wildflowers. I think it is so much fun and I can't wait for you to follow along with me. So I'm going to start off by mixing up my colors. I would recommend pausing at the end of this to mix yours up as well because we're going to jump straight into painting our buttercup right after. But what I have is a light yellow color, a darker yellow, and then I've got an orange here. Next, I'm following up with a light blue, and then I have a darker blue that I'm going to use along with that, and then a purple, pink, a light green, darker green, and a brown. So now we're going to get started with that yellow buttercup. So we're going to take a light wash of that light yellow and just draw a five petal flower. So one, two, four, five, there we go. And take the darker yellow around the outside edge while it's still wet. We're going to do the same over to the side, kind of off on an angle. So light wash to start. And then just put that darker yellow on the outside edge. Then we're going to grab our green and start drawing the stem while the petals are drying. Just a couple little buds here and over here. And since this is a wildflower, we're going to go for some of those spiky wild leaves that you see on these sorts of flowers. So just kind of a spike with a few little spiky leaves branching off. And we'll do the same sort of thing down below here. more spikes on this side and I'm gonna go for a three point leaf down here right. and then just some little tiny leaf buds coming out here over there and then we're gonna go into the middle with the darker yellow, a bit more concentrated, and do just a couple really quick tiny lines, and then grab some orange and do a few dots over top of that. And that is the center of our flower. And the whole thing is done there. Next, we're gonna start on some forget-me-nots. So I've traced out what we're gonna do here with a light blue wash. Five little petals similar to the other style, and then take the darker blue and we're going to go in the center while these are still wet. So make sure you have enough water there. And then add that dark blue to the center. And we're just going to keep repeating this all over to make two separate clusters of little flowers.
So this is our second cluster over here. So I'm just leaving a gap between these two. Okay, and I think that's about it for the flowers. That looks good. So we're going to take the green and start making the tiny little stems that connect them. Make sure the ones you're working near are dry so they don't suck up the green from the stem. See, that one was a little bit wet still. I'm going to be super careful with where I place them. Um, <laughs> excuse me as I fidget, trying to find where they should go. Okay, and now we're going to connect the two of them with the larger stem. a few little buds off the stem. And just some little round leaves down here. And now I'm going to grab some of that yellow mixed with a tiny bit of orange. So the dark yellow, tiny bit of orange, and just put a little dot in the middle of each flower. And we're also going to grab a tiny bit of blue after this to add to the tips of our buds. And then that should be the last step there. Then we are finished with the forget-me-nots. So next we're going to move on to these purple bell flowers. So I'm going to mix a tiny bit of the light blue with some purple, just to get a very light wash. Nice purple. And we'll start tracing out the shape. So it's two petals with one in the center there. Another one down here. So two petals on the side, one in the center. And just keep it a really light wash. We're going to do the petals layered over top in a little bit of a more saturated wash after. So we want to make sure this first layer is completely dry before we go back in with the purple. So we're going to start once it's completely dry with a bit more of a saturated wash and just paint one of the petals on each flower and we're going to let that dry before we add the other petal on top. Okay, Let's grab some green while we're waiting for it to dry and start with our stem. A couple little leaves down here. So once we know that those first petals are dry, we're going to take some of that purple wash, a little more saturated again, and just layer that second leaf over top. So don't play around with it too much because you want the one underneath to show through and have that nice translucent look. So just lightly, we'll add a tiny bit of detail to the edge there. And the last one down here. So we're also going to add some tiny little green leaves coming out the base here. And 
and that is our last step for this flower. The next one we're going to start is a thistle. So once we're done this, we'll grab some pink, make sure everything's dry, and we're going to start with those spiky bits on the top of the thistle. So we're going to let those completely dry, mix some purple in with the pink to darken it a little, and then add some more over top just to create some dimension there. Once we're done this, we'll grab some green to create that bulb. I'm going to just add a little bit of brown and make it more earthy for mine. There. And then the stem on this one, we're going to just go straight into the stem. It's a little bit thicker like a dandelion stem. So not super thick, but not quite as dainty as some of the others. And then we're going to draw some of those wild spiky leaves again. So keep that nice sharp point at the end. Another little one over here. And then we'll finish that off with some bigger leaves down at the bottom here. So still the same style, just a little bit wider as they're down at the base. And after this, we're going to take some darker green and just start adding those spikes that we see on the bulb. Doesn't really matter where they go. There's no rhyme or reason. I think these are kind of meant to be messy. And to finish it off, we're going to add a few tiny leaves underneath the base of the bulb. And that is going to be the last step of the thistle and then we can move on to our last one which is a mini sunflower i want to be sure i have enough space for this last one so i'm just going to start it on another piece of paper here um, we're going to start with a light wash of brown and while that dries we're going to start mixing a really light wash of our yellow to add petals around the outside of the center so once it's dry we can start adding those I'm going to try to go for about six if I can space it out that way. And once these are done, I'm going to make sure they're completely dry before I go in with anything else. But I will mix up a more saturated version of that darker yellow. So we're going to layer over top of those light petals. And in between every two of them, we will paint a more saturated leaf and then take some orange while it's still wet and dab that at the center of the flower there. And just go all the way around, putting one of these between every two of the lighter petals. Once the petals are done, we're going to let those dry and take some dark green and start painting the stem and flowers. This one's pretty simple, just um, fairly basic shape leaves. So one bigger one on the bottom here, medium one over to the side, and then a smaller one up top.
then I just like to dab a little bit more dark green where it connects there. And then we'll finish off with that leaf up top. And then we are done the stem. Then the last step will be adding some more brown to the center there. So we're going to take a little bit of a darker brown than we first used and start making little splotches over top and kind of a circular motion around half of the circle. And then an even darker brown to speckle some really little dots over top. And that helps add some dimension to it there to kind of show where those seeds would be. All right, and then we are done. Thank you so much for following along with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've got some other exciting stuff in the works coming up. And if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you next time for some more tutorials.